In today's video, we buy our very first boat, a Boston Whaler 255, and finally, we get to bring her home. And on the trip home to Fremantle, we learn a ton along the way. We learn how to not drain the fuel filters. We learn how to trailer her safely, as well as how to clean the engines. But we also learn that buying a boat was definitely the right decision for the whole family. Oh, you, you actually haven't seen um, Boston, have you? Yep, just follow your brother. Yeah, now there will be sharks here, little boy. It's too shallow. You're fine. Yeah, That's it. Need a bit of a... Yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think of her? It was. Do you think um, she's good? It's pretty good. I think. Is there any bed in there? Because I'm pretty tired. See how it's sinking? Yeah, why is it sinking? It sinks because then Boston gets put into the water because this is sort of like a dry, wet dock. So, it actually keeps it out of the water. It doesn't kind of look good. Oh, it will. It does, not yet. This is going in. So that there is the actual water filter. Because I know he was saying that we, he'd probably recommend getting two, which is fine. Yeah, I'll just I'll, get, I'll, get you know one what? per engine. Look here, I'll with two. Yeah. Um, it's not, I mean, it's basically different to having one. Yeah. Because one, you might have a 300 horsepower or 250, it's the same sort of fuel flow. Yeah. Um, so if you put, this is how Boston Wilder sits in them. So yeah. there's guns there, but I'll just drain a little bit off. Yeah. So just going to keep an eye on that. Gotcha. So every now and then, maybe when you're halfway back, just have a look and you just, just let it out the bottom. Gotcha, so you just actually open that up. Yep, and it just sort of dribbles out. Yeah. Now, it may just be me, but I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. Nowadays, when I actually drain off the water filters, I drain them into a container. I do not like getting any type of fuel or water into the bilge. So just a heads up, don't do it that way. Time to to get on the boat for the first time. Okay, Sam. So now, just what you have to do is you can step there and then climb in. Can you get in? Yeah, I'm fine. You got it. It's the first oh. time you're on the boat. Now, when you're on the boat and you get on, Yep, so your shoes, your shoes can come off like this. And the best thing to do about it is put them underneath. First is checking the fuel to make sure there's enough fuel to make sure that the gauge is correct. And sometimes you have to check it visually more than just anything else. It's Water smoke. filter, two big batteries, and that's where supplies all the stuff for our that engines. Stinks. Of course it does. It smells like a, a um, an engine. Yeah, it's got plenty in there. Plenty. Beautiful. Just watch the toes, but it's coming down. That's it, Sam. What do you want to show me? Look. I know. This is where you like put in stuff and and I think like um and I think like I'll fall asleep in here. You could, but you wouldn't want to sit in here right now because it's gonna be a bit rough going out there, buddy. But this is yes where you can lay down. We can open the port and so on here. Let some fresh air in here. Yeah, I pretty want to lay down already. Already? Well, it's time for us to actually leave the dock. And as I was getting rid of the ropes and walking down the side, I noticed a job I'm going to have to do. As you can see, the clears, well, aren't that clear. But that'll be in a future video. That's what you got him, buddy. Yeah, just there. Go for it. Alright, getting out into the estuary to take it straight down to Fremantle now. The first maiden voyage of Boston with us and JB, who's our captain, thank God showing us how to drive it. It's gonna be a little bit wavy, so hopefully Sammy's gonna be okay. We're about to find out. We were so lucky to have a mate like JB actually being able to show us what to do when we're driving the boat for the first time. Having someone on board who can actually show you a lot of the safety tips and what to avoid truly made this part, well, a little bit less stressful than it would have been. But goodness me, I have to admit, my palms were sweating at this point for Kayla, but I wasn't even driving the boat. Just always watch where the wind's so going. So you want to keep the pots, that boys, on your right side? Ideally, yeah. yeah. Okay. Or just give them a wide berth, because it could be a hot robot. Yeah. Does this remind you when we went looking for dolphins? Yeah, well, um... When you he... fell asleep on the boat? Yeah, um, But now I... we're going to try and get home. We're going to sit at the back more comfortable, yeah? Okay. Say, Kayla, we're ready. You ready? Okay, go. Ready. Kayla, we're ready. Let's go. This is the moment I'm going to remember for the rest of my life because I realised we had bought our very first boat and it was the best decision we'd ever made.
listen to the, um, the wind and the tide to know which side to go on them. And Sammy's still asleep. We always know we're getting near Fremantle because of the cranes. Sammy always calls them the dinosaur cranes because he says they look like great big dinosaurs. But now it's time to find the entrance to the Fremantle Sailing Club, something we've never done before. And there's Frio. Good driving, mate. Well, Except for the airborne situation. That was, apart from that, the rest is all right. <laughs> so what, we just need one of these, mate? Yes, please. All right. Sorry. Do you know this is not only the first time you've been on this boat, this is the first time we're arriving at Fremantle Sailing Club. We've never even driven the boat in here either. So these are these are the jetties, are the, the ramps, are they, buddy? Yep. Tapping it, then yeah. pulling it out. Yeah. Okay. Just let it, and then I'm just trying to stir it up. And are you using that engine I'm, primarily because it's on the side of the jetty? No, I'm just using it because I just would pick one. It didn't matter. Yep, got it, mate. So this is Boston. See, Boston is going to be living over here, mate, because this is our um, our new club we've joined. Yeah. And then when we get a pen, we'll be able to park her in the water. Since we're still waiting on our pen, because we're still uh, waiting on our pending membership, we decided to actually get a short-term location in the dry dock. But obviously what that meant is we had to get Boston onto a uh, trailer. The funny thing is we'd never done that before and JB was just about to show us how to do it. Okay, Sam, what I'm gonna need you to do, so I'm gonna need you to stay here, buddy. All right, so we're just gonna be pulling her in, are we? Yep, yep so do you have. So we're doing everything slowly, just yep. stress. People, on a busy day, people would be everywhere, but we're just, even then you go, yep, we're doing it. You, you can wait, this is both, we do it, do it safely. There you go, that's one of them. So you want both. That's it. That's it. That, that's that's both. The shackle's just trying to get online. You can't quite lock in place totally. So JB's taking his time to get her out of the water so it doesn't uh, break out. Mate, she's pretty big out of the water. I, I can see where she's rubbed on the... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that'll Oh, yeah, correct, yeah. Seems to be able to get have a look at all the engines too from Carl and I got to very quick wash her down before we get in the car and put her into a new home. She's gonna stay in until of course we get the pen. Sammy's in the car watching YouTube, obviously. So it's time to clean down the boat for the first time. As we were cleaning down the boat, JB took the time to actually show us how to flush out the engines, to flush out all the salt water from the water intake. We had to start the engines obviously and flush them and make sure that the water flows through. He also taught us a quick trick to sometimes taste the water to make sure there's no more salt on it. And one thing with having the boat out of the water, we were able to now check all the dings and the dinks because this was really the first time we'd had Boston out of the water and see what she looks like. She was in pretty good condition, but she had a couple of things to clean up, but the best thing about it, there wasn't much damage. A little bit of stain on the bottom, that's where it just dipped into the water. A bit of marks on the black, but nothing major. Looks good. I'm to replace the sign. I was sitting there on the way back, um, just having a look around the boat, see what we're going to, going to replace, what we're going to change. And do you know when you sit on something or you start a new journey and you just know it's the right path, you just know that you have a lot of fun, a lot of learning, a lot of just family, awesome times together. That's what I felt on the way back with Sammy falling asleep. This has definitely been the right decision. And to be honest, I'm sitting here wondering why haven't I done it sooner? So as you can see, the trip back to Fremantle was eventful, but we did learn something along the way. Our bilge pump is broken. And if you want to see in the next video, me head first down in the bilge trying to fix it, with no experience, by the way, click the video just over his face, as well as a subscribe over his. Ah. <laughs> Boats are tough. Great, I just what? styled my hair with bilge water. <laughs> All right.